<laughs> okay, we've got uh, Matt and Scott from Activity Wales Events. Uh, we're going to talk now in a little bit more detail about day one of the long course weekend, which is also known as the Wales Swim as well. So um, in terms of what's going on on that Friday, so it's Friday the 12th of July. Correct. Um, what are the events that are going on that day that are available to participants? Right, we kick off um, on the Friday. Um, well, the expo opens on the Thursday, but we kick off on the Friday with the expo and as well. Um, and then we're down the beach from four o'clock and we start with what we call um, TAF Kids, which is our sort of children's race. A lot of children in the local area get involved. Uh, children of all the athletes get involved. And some children come from away just, just to race in the race. Uh, we call the athletes TAF uh, And that ranges from four to 11. Then at 11 to 14, we have our Welsh Open Water um, Swimming Championships um, for the juniors. So that, that runs us through to about six o'clock. Yeah. And then and that's a new addition. That's that is brand addition. new for this year. This yeah. is brand new for this year. Yeah, what we found, we've always run the ages of four to fourteen for TAF kids, um, and it's great for up to eleven. But once they get to secondary school, I think certain certain children need an element, more element of competition, uh, especially the boys, eleven to twelve. Um, and again, it just um, they need something more serious, really. So uh, we put them in the water. And to be fair, a lot of the swimmers, the top swimmers in the country now. When you're 13, 14, that's probably when you're best before you discover boys, girls, <laughs> alcohol, nice yeah, wines or food. whatever at 17, 18. <laughs> yeah, and food and crisps and McDonald's and Greg's. Stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know, that's when they're at, that they're really good. So some of these guys out there will, you know, there'll be some better times than the guys in the world yeah. swim by a long way. Yeah. Um, so so there'll, be, there'll be some special swimmers out there. On, yeah. on the and what distances do the, are the kids going to be swimming? In, in the, they'll be swimming between 800 metres and a mile. Right. Uh, depend on their on their age groups as well, and again a two loop course, yeah. um, which we introduced for the for the Wales swim as well. Yeah. So then on onto the adults, um, we've got the, the first part of the long course weekend, but we've also got um, a half distance, so 1.9k um, swim available. Yeah, absolutely. It's designed for a two lap course uh, for a number of reasons. You know, you come down, perhaps you're doing the long distance for the first time, so on the second lap you do touch land again. It's great. You can have a little bit of a you know compose yourself. Um, you can kind of reevaluate where you are as well. So if it's not where you want to be, then you can just come back to the to the finish line or go back in the water. So it's great to have the two distances to choose from. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the course, um, same course as a, another same big race there another couple of months later. Absolutely, same course as Ironman Wales. Um, and it is a, it, it's a great swim. As I said, the venue is a stunning. It's a natural amphitheatre. You've got Tenby Harbour which is one of the most photographed areas of certainly Wales, if not the UK. So it really is a stunning location. And again, when you come back onto land for the second lap, if you're doing the long distance one, the crowds on the beach is just amazing. And that's really unusual for a swim to be able to engage the crowd for obviously the spectators and for the athletes. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's so quite unique for a lot of people as well. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a blue flag beach, it's a watermelon beach with the water, you know, the cleanliness of the water and everything else is fantastic. But um, you've got a thousand athletes in there, you've got 40% of them are first timers, so you've got 400 athletes, have, this is their first time in open water. <coughs> now, a lot of people aren't as lucky that, that live on beaches and can swim open water or near, near swimmable lakes. So a lot of people are just used to pools. So it does give your first timer as well an opportunity to come out and, and be with like-minded people in that wetsuit for the first time, Absolutely. in a big lineup for the first time. You know, and, you, and the first time you go in the water you learn a lot of stuff. like. Don't go in the front, get towards the back. <laughs> don't run over. Uh, yeah, don't get run over. So, um, yeah, but it's, it's a nice that you, you're with like minded people as well, and a lot of people bouncing off each other on the beach. Yeah. Um, and I believe you've got something um, special sort of going on at the front of the race that uh, adds a little bit of. Oh, the hair, yeah, yeah absolutely. Spice. We introduced that a few years ago, actually. It's worked really well. We, we had Tommy Allen, um, who, was, who was absolutely superb, um, but we have something we call the hair. So, we put a £500 bounty on his head, or her head, whoever comes forward. Um, and if they win the race, they keep the £500 towards their training or, or whatever it may be. Um, if they lose, um, the person that beats them then decides the £500 goes to a charity of their choice, which we had for the first time ever last year. Um, actually, well, no, a swimmer actually beat the hair, so um, yeah, it was, it was quite unique. And makes for great viewing as well. Only one person wears the yellow hat, and that's the hair, and you can see them all the way around. So um, it does add a bit of excitement to the actual overall race. Yeah. And it's really good as well for, um, for triathletes to come down as well. It's, it's an event for triathletes, but for just swimmers as well. So if you just like swimming, it's an event for you. And it's really good to compare the two. You can see just swimmers and triathletes mixing together. You kind of see where they are in the sport. And um, some of the guys that are really, really sharp, top end um, swimmers in triathlon, 
have got an opportunity to test themselves against some of the guys that are really sharp at the top end of just open water swimming, and that, that's really cool as well. Excellent. So that's the that's the whale swim. Um, that's uh, as we said, Friday the twelfth of July. Yeah. Um, Website thewhaleswim.com. Whaleswim.com. Um, so what we'll do in some separate interviews, and we'll, we'll link all of those. Uh, hopefully at the bottom of this one when you see it, uh, we'll talk about um, the Sporty on Saturday and also the Half Marathon and Marathon on Sunday. So for now, thanks very much guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're now chatting to uh, Oliver Simon. Uh, Ollie is the multiple winner of the Long Course Weekend. And um, what we're going to do now, Ollie, is just go through the swim section. Um, so we've got the, the swim section of the Long Course Weekend also available as the, the whale swim. Yeah. So um, just tell us a little bit about um, the, the swim in terms of you know, where, where the beach is in, in Tenby and, and what the surrounding area is, is like. It's basically on North Beach this time, so that's the uh, same as the Ironman swim. It's got the lifeboats stations in the background, yeah. and it's got the panoramic view from the top. So you've got all the hotels and things on the top. Yeah. And now Gosco Rock in the middle. So it's kind of that's the centerpiece of the swim. Kind of start one side of that, <coughs> swim out around the buoy like a triangle shape, and you come back in. It's usually about 16 degrees with the water temperature and the tide's probably going to be up to about Gosco Rock this year so there'll be less running than last year yeah. as you move it round Gosco Rock and back in the other side then yeah. to start the second lap. So we've got um, two lap swim for the 3.8k, yeah. one lap for the, for the 1.9k. Um, is there anything in particular that you can sight on? Any, any issues with sighting or any buildings that you can see in the distance of, for example when you're returning to, so you don't miss the boys and swim extra? The only issue with sighting, when you're going out, you'll find you should be able to see the boys straight away because there's nothing really else in the background. And when you turn back on yourself, you head for the harbour. The lifeboat slip, the old lifeboat slip is usually a good indicator of if you're going in the right direction. There might be a couple of boats in the way, but usually if you're heading towards that harbour wall by the lifeboat slip, you're on the right direction. Yeah. And then as soon as you turn around that, you just head for the left-hand side of Gosco Rock and you won't go too wrong. Um, and obviously you mentioned that the swim is in the same beach and probably on the same course as, as the Ironman Wales, so it's also a great yeah. opportunity for people earlier on in the year who maybe are aiming at that in late September, I think, as Ironman is to, to get us some practice in. Yeah, it's perfect, and usually it makes with the sea swim, obviously, you can't say if you did it fine with long course that it's going to be perfect for Ironman Wales because obviously the sea changes every day with the wind. You know, you could have surf, you could have shore break. The tide could be a bit further in, it all makes a big difference. But as long as you've got that distance in, in that seawater, in your wetsuit, you should be fine. For yeah. it. And we're we going to see you there again uh, next year, hoping hopefully, to, to yeah, get hopefully. back to your, your title from two years ago? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the only way I've been you know, swimming the bike, definitely, is always good training for an Ironman. But obviously the run, you have to have done the mileage to get up, otherwise you're going to hit yourself with maybe an injury or something like that. But yeah, definitely. I want to do the full thing again. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the that's the whale swim, and we'll be talking to uh, Oliver again soon uh, about the bike and the run sections.